So I just spent like the last hour and a half on Instagram story answering Q&A questions, which was really fun. But I also wanted to talk about it on here. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get on my YouTube, Instagram, or in person when I meet you guys is, how do I start a YouTube channel? I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of flirting with the idea of starting a YouTube channel, but you're not quite sure how to edit, design, Photoshop, and so on and so forth. If you want to start a YouTube channel, but you're not quite sure how to do all the technical work behind it, I wanted to share with you guys about this online community called Skillshare, where I feel like you guys can really learn and benefit a lot from. And I'm really excited to collaborate with them because I've been a personal user of Skillshare. So basically, Skillshare is an online community for creators with more than 20 5,000 classes in design, business, and more. And premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are right for you. And whether it's for curiosity, creativity, or even for your career, Skillshare is like the perfect place where you can keep learning and thriving. Everything that I do on YouTube, I do myself. I don't have a video editor, I don't have a designer. The classes that I particularly benefit a lot from are video editing softwares like Final Cut Pro X, which is what I use to edit my videos, and also Photoshop, that's how I edit my thumbnails. The great thing about Skillshare is that it's really affordable. Their annual subscription fee is less than $10 a month, which is really good. Be one of the 7 million creators learning on Skillshare. So the first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the description bar will be able to get two month free trial. So take advantage of that guys. Start your YouTube channel. I think I saw a comment in my recent video. Someone said that I inspired them to start a YouTube channel and now they have 45,000 subscribers, which I think is amazing. Anywhere I go, whether it's meeting grades or I just like meet you guys randomly on the streets, I will always get at least one question asking for any advice or tips on how to start a YouTube channel. And I feel like many of us have this hurdle where we're scared to start a YouTube channel and put ourselves out there on the internet because we're scared of what our peers are going to think about us. Those people who you're scared about, I just want you to think about this in this perspective. You have all this potential and passion, but just because of those few people who you, you're like kind of scared about stop you from achieving something you really wanted to do, oh man, that, that just makes me so angry. So if I can do it, you guys are more than capable of doing it. I have the most talented and creative subscribers. I know you guys are gonna kill it. If you guys have a YouTube channel, put your channel in the comments below. I don't really want to brag, but I think I have a pretty amazing community on my channel. Like you guys all support one another and you guys don't even know each other. So yeah, if you guys have a YouTube channel, definitely put your channel in the description bar. Let's all support each other. I'm gonna try to stalk every one of you guys and watch your videos. I'm here with my Mandarin teacher. Her name is Ruth. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, thank you. I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous too. We're just starting right now. We just met. Get ready to see me embarrass myself. <laughs> no, I think you will be doing great. Oh, so I'm gonna um, film like bits and parts of my class today, my first day of class. And yeah. Jish. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Let's do four tones together. Shi 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 don't, don't worry, let's do it. Try it one more time. So, so, sometimes I can say, yeah, so, yeah, very good. Xiao means afternoon, but Wan Shanghao means a good evening. Wan Shanghao, Wan Shanghao, Wan Shanghao, Zhao Shanghao, Zhao Shanghao, then Xiao Hao, Xiao Hao, Wan Shanghao, Wan Shanghao, yes, May Guanxi, May Guanxi, so Dipuchi, Dipuchi, May Guanxi, May Guanxi. I want to show you guys some clothes that I got from a brand called Almina Concept. They're based out in LA and I wanted to show you guys them because I'm actually really happy with all the pieces Okay, so this is the first piece. I love this dress. This one was like my favorite dress and I really wanted this one It has little slits on both sides. I just paired it with some heels and I think it just pulls the look together 
Okay, so this is the next one. It's a tank, but the detail is all in the back, like this right here, and I think it's super cute. What I really like about this one is that the style is very timeless. Classic button-up like this is like a staple in everyone's closet. So this is like a denim blue color. It's a linen dress, and I think it's really cute. So yeah, that's all the clothes that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm actually quite starving right now, so I am going to make a little midday snack. I'm gonna make yubu chobak. It's called seasoned soybean curd. I'm just gonna start off with a bowl of rice. I'm gonna put the sauce that it comes with. It kind of tastes like vinegar almost. I'm with my cousin, he's visiting from Korea, and we're here getting dim sum at Jing Fung restaurant. Okay, so my hair is a complete mess. Okay, so I just took a shower, which explains why my hair looks like the way it looks like right now. I need to go to the grocery, get some food. So I'm gonna take you guys to the grocery store with me because I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, I'm gonna call a car. This whole time, I thought my camera was recording, but it wasn't. I love spam. Back at home, I'm gonna start cooking ramen for emergency, tofu, fabric softener smells so good, bone broth for my kimchi chicken, watermelon. Okay, I'm gonna cut up some garlic. to get a facial at Glam Moy Med Spa here in New York City. I'm really excited because it's been about six months since my last facial. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Surprisingly, I have a lot of viewers here in New York. It's really nice because if you guys are curious of where I go, I can actually tell you guys and it'll be some useful information. There's no reason for me to be doing this right now. I'm about to get a facial. Let's go. I think I'm 
gonna do a little bit of laser to help with my pores because that's one of my biggest concerns. A laser called Laser Genesis. Um, we're doing something called a Laser Genesis today. It's a very gentle laser facial that we like to call. It's good for brightening and uh, lightening the skin, mm -hmm. kind of looking a little bit more dewy, shrinking those pores up. Good yeah. for cleansing the skin as well. So we want to get rid of some of that bacteria that we're gonna do awesome. or uh, that we have on the skin. Not painful at all, mm -hmm. no downtime whatsoever. You can go back to normal 100% right after. Awesome. I've noticed you guys decorated the place outside really nicely. Oh yeah, with the flowers. It looks like stuff. a studio. Is it, uh, do you feel like you have any burning sensations at all? Mm -mm, okay, no, not at all. 